safe to say there aren't going to be any more ship inspections for a while. So I'm going to take you somewhere else today instead. Let's go. So welcome to Austin Mere Beach. So we're now south of Sydney and I've come down here to give you guys a really good look, well as close a look as I could possibly get, of four ships which have anchored at Port Kembla amidst the entire issue with the uh, C word. Um, so we currently have Carnival Splendor and Carnival Spirit. Uh, to this side I believe is Carnival Splendor uh, and Spirit is probably behind my head. Um, and then on the other side we've got Radiance of the Seas and Voyager of the Seas. So I believe joining them will be Ovation of the Seas maybe later today or possibly tomorrow which left Sydney yesterday I believe. So these ships are anchored here for the time being um, and as you know they are empty. Uh, there are no guests on board any of these ships and the cruise lines have halted cruising until I mean well into May. So some cruise lines are still sticking with their word that they'll have cruises back up and running around April. Royal Caribbean are doing this as well as maybe one other. I'm at the beach, my brain's not functioning properly, but Princess from the outset decided that they wouldn't be resuming cruising until uh, well into May, so mid-May, early to mid-May, May 10th, 11th. Quite frankly, I think all of these dates uh, take them with a grain of salt. I would be very skeptical about making any firm plans based on these dates at this stage. Um, as we know, the situation is very fluid. Everything is changing uh, constantly. And as much as I would love for everything to resume and head back to normal as soon as possible, I feel like it's going to be a little while longer. So unfortunately, that means that Cruising is a bit of a, well, travel in general has kind of come to an end at the time for now. But at least now I've gotten to uh, have a very interesting experience seeing four cruise ships anchored off the coast uh, south of Sydney, which is something that I would never have expected to see. So a bit of an interesting fun day out since I have no travel plans to be arranging right now. For now, we can check out some more of the uh, looks of the ships. So in the distance is Carnival Spirit and Carnival Splendor and then if we head on down in the distance there we've got Voyager of the Seas and Radiance of the Seas. And back. That was a great day out. I really enjoyed getting down there to see the four ships uh, at anchor at Port Kembla. Apparently they'll be joined by Ovation of the Seas and Ruby Princess as well. So there's going to be quite a number of ships there. Now obviously these ships are not completely empty. They have their crews on board. Um, so I've actually discovered a YouTube channel, uh, Chris Wong Vlogs, 
and he is based on Oasis of the Seas currently and works as the casino host. So check out his channel, I've put a link below uh, in the description so you can check that out and see exactly what they're doing uh, every day while they have no guests on board. Um, safe to say that it's very interesting times. Um, it's definitely nothing that I would have ever expected, but a lot's changed, a lot's happening, and um, I can only hope that this happens as quickly as possible that we return to normal. So we'll see what happens, but yeah. Hope you enjoyed that little trip down to the uh, south coast of Sydney. Stay tuned, I will have some more videos coming out soon. I'll be doing a little bit more uh, blog, vlog style videos since I've got some time up my sleeve at the moment. So I hope you enjoyed and happy travels. You can check out my website, thecruiseandtravelguide.com.au. I uh, would really appreciate it if you could like, subscribe, and um, thanks for following along, and I'll see you soon. Normally I would say happy travels at this point, but really no one's going anyway, so happy isolation. Mm -hmm.